Hey there, I'm Shay Fox and this is a quick tips video. I'm going to be showing you how to use the fill bucket tool to paint in your art quickly and a couple tips around that and how to do it. So I have an artwork here with some line art already done. Most of the line arts on this layer, eyes are here. I put them inside a folder so I can apply the reference layer button, which is this lighthouse set as reference layer to either the line work layer I want to tell the paint bucket to use or I can do the entire folder so you can see that this whole folder is set to the little lighthouse button and it will refer to all of that so I'm just going to make a new folder below this with a new layer in it that I'm going to have my colors go in underneath my line work layer so basically you want to go over to the fill bucket tool and pick refer only to editing layer. This is the one you need to use and if you look at my tool settings down here you can copy them um, if you want. This is my normal settings and for example we would then be able to color it in right and things that are most important is this one here refer to or refer multiple and have that set to reference layer. Another thing that's worth noting is a lot of the times in our drawings we'll have something where the edges don't quite close up. Like here is kind of not really close, here is really light. So sometimes the fill bucket tool doesn't work well with that. So you're best to mess with the setting that says close gap. So I often have it on the lowest setting, doesn't work. And if you turn it up higher it can work. If that's not quite working for you, like this isn't quite good enough, turn down your color margin. All right, now it's working. So between close gap and color margin, uh, it will work for you.